Tonight, three people have been indicted for capital murder in the shooting death of a 14 year old girl. Now this all according to the Mobile County District Attorney's Office. Back in 2022, 14 year old Sierra Jackson was shot and killed in Mobile while sitting in a car with her friends. Our Ashlyn Mitchell joins me now in the studio with more details and Ashlyn, you spoke with Sierra's grandmother who's breathing a sigh of relief tonight. Yeah, I did, Ariel. She tells me she's been fighting for justice relentlessly. All three people connected to Sierra's death were indicted by a grand jury on Friday. She says while this can't bring back her sweet granddaughter, it's one step closer to justice. Her murder was senseless in every manner of the word. Frida Jackson has spent nearly two years grieving the shocking death of her granddaughter, 14-year-old Sierra Jackson. In May of 2022, Sierra was visiting Mobile from Texas when investigators say gunmen opened fire on the car she was riding in with her friends. The shooting happened on Michael Donald Avenue in Mobile. The life they took was one they couldn't repay or replace. Two of the individuals were teenagers as well. And it's sad as to the amount of gun violence that's going on. Police arrested Lamagne Forrest, Archie Petit, and a juvenile who cannot be named because of his age in connection to the shooting. On Friday, Jackson says she received a long anticipated call from the Mobile District Attorney's Office. The three gentlemen that had been charged for her murder had been indicted on capital murder charges. Jackson says the news was bittersweet. Knowing now that the indictments has taken place, it doesn't lighten the load, but it makes you fight even harder. I grieve, her brother grieves for her, her mom, her dad. It's just a whirlwind of emotions. And she says she will continue fighting for justice for her granddaughter, no matter how long it takes. I think a lot of these teens need to familiarize themselves with the law of their state in order to find out that a split second decision will change their lives forever. The journey for us will never end, irregardless to what sentencing they get from this. The grieving will never end for us. Now, Jackson recently launched her own LLC called Sierra's Cause. She has a vision to go into schools and her community to continue to advocate against gun violence and ensure Sierra's name lives on. Live in studio, Ashley Mitchell, Fox 10 News.